Kia ora koutou katoa. The internet is a powerful force for good. It has an extraordinary power to connect us all, communities and individuals, economically, culturally and socially. Part of what I understand this panel will discuss is this power for good, the ability to share ideas and values on a scale that we have never seen before. The internet and information communications technologies empower all of us. But this speed and this reach is not always unqualified good. We in New Zealand saw this vividly illustrated earlier this year when the horror and fear and trauma of the Christchurch terrorist attacks was magnified by the live streaming of the attack. The internet and social media was weaponized as part of this attack with deliberate efforts to make the video go viral and to subvert efforts to find and to remove it. Now most of all we know about our response, founded on a shared view of the harm that this content can cause. In partnership with France, we in New Zealand established something called the Christchurch Call to Action to eliminate terrorist and violent extremist content online. This is a voluntary and collaborative effort to address the harms this material can cause while preserving a free, open and secure internet and protecting human rights and fundamental freedoms. I'm really proud of the progress that we have all made under the call. We have over 40 countries supporting the call along with some of the world's biggest tech companies, all acknowledging this is not a problem we can solve alone. We also have a Christchurch Call Advisory Network with civil society groups, non-government organisations, researchers and others able to provide guidance on these tricky issues. And these are shared complex issues. New Zealand and others work on the Christchurch Call is situated in the context of a range of really challenging issues related to online content. And while we saw the worst of terrorist and violent extremist content after Christchurch, this sits against a backdrop of increasingly difficult issues related to the spread of problematic content generally online, from hate speech to misinformation. Now, as New Zealand, we are a small country. Like any other state, we can regulate within our borders, but we cannot solve global problems on our own. There are some things that shape how we can approach these issues together, including on forums like the Internet Governance Forum. For me, some of these are respect for international law, including international human rights law, but also other frameworks such as international counter-terrorism law. Secondly, maintaining a free, open, interoperable global internet so we can retain the benefits of connectivity. Thirdly, collaboration and consultation, including the need for government, civil society and tech companies to work together, something I think we need more of. The Christchurch Call to Action has been just that, a call to action. We've established new relationships and made commitments to try to better prevent and respond to terrorist and violent extremist content online. Changes such as the evolution of the Global Internet Forum to counter terrorism into a standalone entity will also make it easier for us to work together. But there is still more work to be done, both here in New Zealand and overseas. Thank you to all of you who are engaging in these debates and these discussions. It is a brave new world that we live in. Together though, I do believe we can face head on the challenges of our time. Nō reira, tēnā koutou katoa.